Halloween is over, but I'm still wearing this sweatshirt that I got. I love it. What's up? What's going on? If you don't know me, my name is Mikey. I'm an artist and writer and creator person here on YouTube. And today we are going to be discussing how I made my newest book cover using Procreate. Um, if you don't know, Procreate is a drawing app that you can use on the iPad, uh, I think iPhone as well, but it's mainly used on the iPad. And I've been using it for about like a year and a half now, almost two years. But since using the app, it's become one of my favorite things to use. So today I'm just going to show you guys how I went through my whole process. And in turn, I'm also going to be showing you guys the cover reveal to my book, finally. <laughs> in the next video, I'll have a little more information in regards to release date, pre-orders, stuff like that. Earlier today, I had the proof copy mailed to my house. Um, it looks so good so far. I have a reaction posted on my Instagram, just a short little clip of it, but I will be posting the full clip probably next week or so. If you don't want to miss that, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. While you're down there, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the announcements. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button and comment below what part was your favorite. If you're really excited for this book as much as I am, if you love the cover, um, if you have any projects that you're working on right now and then if you're needing to design your own cover for it, leave that down below and share it with anybody else that you think might be interested. And without further ado... Are you happy to be in Paris? We. Oui. Let's get started. What you're really going to do first is make sure you have your whole book at least mostly written out or if you know how many pages you're going to do, stuff like that. And you need to know what size book that you're planning on doing in the first place. My books previous were 5x8, but for this one I wanted to go a bit larger. Um, I also wanted to do a hardback version of this book, um, so I chose to do 6x9. On Amazon KDP, which is where I publish my books through, they have um, templates that you can use in order to determine the right sizing for the files that you need uh, to actually draw out or design your covers. If you go on there and enter all your information, like the size of the book, um, how many pages, if it's paperback or hardback, stuff like that. It'll come up with a template for you to use. That's basically what it's going to look like. It'll have all the information on here. It'll have this red section is where the um, bleed, where like the pages are going to be cut off or you don't want to have any like pretty vital information on there. You just want it to be sort of like filler content kind of sort of. It'll give you all that information and then you can design everything on top of that and delete the file and everything will be good to go. For this concept of this book, I wanted to focus more so on acceptance, discovery, queerness, gender, identity, stuff like that. So I really wanted that to be reflected onto the cover itself. When I had the cover idea in mind in my head, I knew that I wanted the color purple to be like the main focus. The title of the book is Prom King, just putting that out there, spoilers. <laughs> and I knew I wanted the background to be purple because one, the title is Prom King and purple is associated with royalty, but also I sort of see it as a more gender neutral color. Males are traditionally like associated with blue and girls with pink, so having a little bit of combination of both, blue and pink obviously make purple. So I used that, and then I would just add elements of um, pink and blue as well, with some touches as yellow, which is also considered a gender neutral color as well. I wanted to have some sort of crown of sorts, um, and then some form of like, kind of sort of typography, and some like, just form of my art itself. So originally this was my first concept for the cover. I didn't like it, so went to the drawing board and got out ideas. After I decided that that idea was garbage, well it wasn't garbage, it just didn't really work with what I wanted to do, I started thinking of new things, and in my head I sort of thought of, you know, this, since the book kind of touches on gender, sexuality, queerness, stuff like that, I knew I wanted to have sort of more 
gender fluid character on the cover. And this idea of a figure on the cover wearing a crown that was tilted a little bit, just kind of looking a little bit more peaceful. I wanted to be sort of a more illustrative style. So upon doing that, I had come across this artist on Instagram on my explore page. I put up a little screenshot of their Instagram page here. Uh, their username is Elfin Trank. Again, probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm not Norwegian, never have been Norwegian. If I want to be Norwegian, yes I could. I probably could be one because I am what? Sickening. You can never be Norwegian because you are not that kind of girl. Every, everything I had, I worked for it. I built myself from the ground up. You bitch. I don't have a sugar daddy. I've never had a sugar daddy. If I wanted a sugar daddy, yes, I probably could go out and get one because I am what? Sickening. You could never have a sugar daddy because you are not that kind of girl. Baby, everything I've had, I've worked for and I've gotten myself. I built myself from the ground up. So I found this artist on Instagram and I instantly fell in love with their art. This, um, I love the way that they use a lot of um, bright pastel colors, the way they sort of work with more abstract, um, sort of flowy designs. I also really like the way that their art is very figure-based. It's very uh, ethereal, surrealistic, sort of fairy tale based I just really like their art. In particular, I really like these two pieces. Um, I'm not even going to bother with this. I'm just going to put the images up here. So this first one, I really liked the way the um, like kind of flowy bits were moving throughout the piece and like the colors they had gone with it. And then with this next piece, obviously you can see the crown that was on there um, and also the flowy bits that I really liked as well. So I really liked that, but I didn't want to copy or like sort of replicate these two paintings for my cover. I wanted to create my own thing. I just want to kind of use these as sort of like inspiration and reference. So I found my own images and I started designing that. So the first thing I did was I found a um, royalty free image from Pexels. I'll put it up on right here, the one that I used. I sort of used that as reference. I wanted something that sort of showcased more of like the chest area and also I wanted the sort of head be like going this way and was looking down or rather eyes closed. Um, finding something very specific like that, especially with royalty images, is kind of hard to do. Um, if you are going to do that, um, you would either have to alter the images yourself or just take the picture yourself. So once I had drawn that up is when I started to add in, add in all the other details in the background. So with um, Sarah's artwork, usually like the flowy bits are going through the actual person. Um, I thought that was really nice, but I wanted to do something else. So I just decided to have it in the background as sort of just like a more abstract sort of thing to it. Also just because, you know, gender fluid, hmm, I kind of want this person to have a blue skin and then um, they can have like a pink sweatshirt on and then they'll have the crown to match. Um, so I started drawing that out and then once I had the basic ideas down is when I started going in with um, painting the actual colors on there. So I added more details to the sweatshirt, the skin, the crown, the background, um, and everything there. And then once that was done, I had sort of, I didn't want the background just to be plain straight purple, so I had just um, thrown in just random twenty of color and then just sort of blended those around using some of the blending tools on Procreate. Um, and then I sort of mirrored it a couple of times just to get everything sort of nice and even. And then that, once I had all the drawing stuff done is when I started to add in things of text. Like I said, the title for my book is Prom King, um, just sort of playing on, the, on those ideas of, sort of playing on those ideas of male expectations, masculinity, femininity, stuff like that. I sort of had the whole ideas and concepts for the book as a whole in my head, so I sort of based the cover around that. Um, originally, I was going to call it a queer collection of poetry, but a lot of things are queer-based, but I didn't want it to necessarily be the entire book since there are other topics that I talk about, such as family and mental health, um, just other random stuff. So I was like, you know what, we'll just call it a regular collection of poetry. I just so happened to have queer stuff added into it. I started to add in the, um, the title of the book, 
subheading name and then on the back of the book is when I started to write the, um, the book blurb, I think that's what they're called. Um, I changed this a couple of times, uh, I might change it again, just want to make sure it's 100% how I like it. And then since KDP, if you're using one of their free ISBNs, they'll add in the barcode on there for you. I just left that area blank and then I added in my um, username for all my social medias and then my little um, sort of logo icon design that I use for pretty much everything. And yeah, and then I just adjusted it for each of the, um, for like the paperback cover. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the size of the hardback, so I just adjusted that. And then I also um, made some adjustments for the, I'm planning on doing an audiobook for it. Um, and then I also have a playlist of all the songs that are sort of, that either inspired me or have a similar feel to the book, or just I feel go together. So I made all the covers for that. So without further ado, I am super excited to show you guys the cover to my newest poetry collection, which I have entitled Prom King. And yeah. <laughs> It's so weird because the images I have to edit onto the screen, so I'm just smiling and doing this at nothing right now, but you're seeing the image. Technology. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, yeah, I can't believe I'm releasing another book. Again, this is something I'm super excited about. I'm very proud of this one. Um, I'm really excited to show it with you guys and have people hold it in their hands to read it. Um, later on on this channel I'll show you how I did some of the drawings for my book. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it or you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Like the video if you like seeing this whole process if you were inspired to create your own covers if you do share them on instagram and tag me at mikey mcgard um i'll have the handle right here for you um make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the new information that i post regarding the book um again next week i'm hoping to have the video of my reaction opening up this and yeah before i forget um this sweatshirt comes from a brand called werewolf um if you don't know what who or what they are. They are a queer based fashion company. Um, I found them on Instagram. Um, they have a lot of cool shirts, um, sweatshirts, stickers, whole a bunch of stuff. They're really cool. It's like, sort of like tattoo punk, sort of that vibe based. Um, I saw this on an ad and I was just like, oh, I want it. And yeah, feel free to check them out. This isn't an ad or anything. Um, I just really like them, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Here's one final look at the cover. Aren't they beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Have you not seen a cover look this good? Actually, there's many good covers, but look at this one. I made that. I really did. I am so good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!